The reason why we chose a mobile app is because of the scalability. We're going from hundreds of users potentially to thousands of users to hundreds of thousands of users and you know it, 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 there's no end to it. So we had to implement an architecture that could scale up and be able to handle the load of people downloading and doing these assessments, be they in Australia, Europe, America, anywhere. Well, it's more than an app. Uh, we are giving an app um, and we're providing an app for parents. But once they've submitted an assessment, um, the technology stack is quite complex. So we have a mobile platform called Heroku, where people register and they do their assessments. But then also all of that data gets pushed into our um, database, the Salesforce database. And there all of the assessments take place. We send out emails to parents to support them on the journey. Um, and from there on, we can maintain a relationship with them so they can do further assessments. We probably have two main hopes. The, the, the first hope is that every parent wants to download it and every parent wants to use the app. And then every parent can see for themselves whether their child has a higher likelihood or low likelihood. And it's a community and also an awareness raising exercise because ultimately the community is responsible for how children develop. Everyone has their eyes, everyone from family members, uh, workers in childcare centres, um, educators. Um, so we want everyone to use the app. Uh, we don't want just people who potentially are worried about where their child's development is at. We want everyone to use it.